We're set. Keep it! Smooth operator does not care who's on his back. Absolute surgical precision. He continues to get riders on the ground. Guess what, gang? Smooth Operator is the 2019 Yeti World Champion Bull. His second out, Mac, 47 points. Worth every point, too, and that's what I was talking about with having Chase Outlaw on that bull. He was going to show him for every point he was worth, whether he rode him or not. That was a great effort by both Ryder and Bull. He's taking a victory. I line. was just going to say, you don't think Smooth Operator know the stakes? Let's find Chad Berger, because I think he's finally going to take his deepest breath of the week. Now that it's official, here we go. Congratulations, Mr. Berger. You have another world champion bucking ball. I can tell you, it, it is a long, long road to get there. And finding these great bulls that can go through all the, the, the trials that this bull has had and Chad has had, I'm telling you, it's, it's every bit as hard it, to get a Kentucky Derby winner. Ty, we always talk about the respect that the riders have for each other, but right there, a great show of respect. The riders know they wouldn't be with a, here we go. serious injury he just stayed you talk about patience he just waited for his moment but with that buck off there is your 2019 world champion Jess Lockwood wins it he now joins an elite group of multiple year champions there he is with his father Ed next to him the crowd still giving Jose Vitor Lemmy his due. What a year he put together. But this duel that we have talked about for months, we can only hope continues for years to come. Last run of the year. It's not the end. Jess Lockwood had hoped for. But even with that buck off, mission accomplished for Jess Lockwood. He leaves Las Vegas a world champion again. 22 years old now and already two world titles. And I don't know how the expectations could be set any higher for this guy than they already are, but. I'm gonna give you the order of the buck offs. Three seconds, two seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Here we go. Ah, front. Ever so close. <laughs> Dalton Castle. Side, oh boy, look at that. Good Jesse job, yes, Byrne put himself in between Fearless and Dalton Castle. Took a shot in the back. Another example of how these bullfighters are willing to go into harm's way to protect a rider. Well, this is, you know, this is just what he didn't need to do. Now, watch these Hail Marys he's throwing. Now, each one of those that he throws, the next one becomes harder. There the bull kicks him as he's leaving. Don't think this bull don't know exactly where his hind feet are. Now, watch Jesse Byrne come in. He can tell that he's stunned from getting kicked leaving there like that. Jesse grabs a hold of him, gets him out of the way, and takes, oh. the, takes the shot. Wow. But Smooth Wreck makes it a rough ending to 2019 for Richardson, although he told me at the beginning of the week, tomorrow he's on a plane back to Australia, and he's going to start going to events there. 45 and a quarter for Smooth Wreck. Nowhere near what he needed to overtake Smooth Operator. So 
Smooth Operator's only got one more bullet to dodge, and that's Heartbreak Kid. Yeah, and that's a really good score, but I think that just shows the level of competition. It can't be a really good score. It's got to be a great one. YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.